guys welcome back to my channel um today is my boxycharm unboxing i do have both of my boxycharm regular and my premium boxes i've had them for several days now but i haven't had a chance to film life gets crazy sometimes you know how that goes um if you're not familiar with boxycharm for the regular BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription box for $25 a month. It used to be $21, but now it is $25. And you get four to five full-size products. I always get five, so you get five full-size products for the $25 a month. And um, with the premium, you get, um, I think it's like six or seven for $35 a month full-size products. Um, I decided to do this video first with the regular BoxyCharm. One, because I knew I was getting the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn palette and I was dying to try it. Two, I figure more people have the regular BoxyCharm than they do anything else. So I thought this would be um, a more wanna see video than the other. <laughs> For those of you that are new here, I do have a special needs child. You'll hear him in the background clapping his hands and making lots of noise. He's jealous of anyone or anything that takes my time from him. And he's tired of me filming today. So I'm not going to get the premium film today. But I will get this one up and or edited and up as soon as possible. That being said, I will have the link to BoxyCharm in the description box along with all products on my face as per usual. So without further ado, let's head back in time to a couple hours ago because it takes me forever to film with Thomas. And let's get started on this unboxing try on video, shall we? All right, so let's get this party started. Try to ignore my unwelcome friend on my face. But this month, it looks like we have Breaking the Ice, and I have Variation 25. So, yeah. It looks like the first thing on the list here is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. This is what I have right here. It actually almost looks like my perfect foundation match. <laughs> But anyway, um, this baby retails for $25. It says the Undercover Concealer is a lightweight gel ser serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide a medium coverage with a natural flawless finish infused with vitamin E and a really long G word to keep skin moisturized and rejuvenated and improve the skin's appearance. Okay. Let's see. That's what the applicator. I like the applicator. And yeah, look at how close if I was to blend that out, I mean, oh, it feels really smooth. It disappears. It's definitely my exact skin tone, so that's kind of cool. Next thing on the list here is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn Palette. Uh, this eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are reminiscent of the beautiful sunrise and sunset. Okay, this baby is $34.99, just like the other one. If you haven't seen my video on the, what was it, like Scarlet Dust, I got that as an add-on. So I only paid $12. But, oops, let me pull the little plastic slip out. I'm so, I'm so curious about this. This is what it looks like. And, yeah. Definitely excited to play with that today. Next thing on the list is from Skin & Co. Uh, this is called their Truffle. Let me make sure. I'm... This one is called their Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. A delicate exfoliating cream with a rich texture and soothing fragrance. Truffle Therapy Face Gommage is a lush 
formula combining the best of the iconic Mediterranean lifestyle and the luxury Italian spa experience. Okay, uh, this baby retails for $28. Hello. Oh, it's got a little plastic tabby thingy on it. Shows what I know. So that means, yeah, it's, ooh, I've been getting a lot of exfoliants lately. That is what it looks like. I just want to see the one I got in my other subscription mm -hmm. box, my Ipsy box. About rubbed my face off, but mm -hmm. boy was it smooth. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. This one smells like coconuts to me. And it's not near as abrasive. So, and I think, I don't know if it was the Juice Beauty, my monthly time, which was really miserable for me this month, or what that are causing these little breakouts. But shortly after my body straightens out from the whole PMS deal, I will get it figured out for you. The next thing I'm pulling out is from Avant. And this is their 8-Hour Radiance Renewal Sleeping Mask. The 8-hour sleeping mask works to reveal more youthful and beautiful skin overnight. It also helps to tighten the skin and lessen the appearance of wrinkles and fine light. This is $107. Holy crap. $107. Okay, at least it's got a seal for your $107. But let's see. Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> eventually you might come off. There we go. Let's see what it. Oh, it's. That's what it looks like. And I did rinse off my hand. It has a light smell, but definitely has a smell. I'm going to have to. I was watching Jen Love's reviews, I think it was last week. And um, she was talking about this website that you could put ingredients in. I'm going to start doing that because I'm getting up there in age and I definitely do not want to be putting ingredients on my face that I shouldn't. And when I smell smells, it stresses me out just a little bit. So that being said, let's get to the last product and the try-on portion. Sorry guys, I haven't filmed in like a week, so Thomas is not on his game. But the last thing in my box is this guy right here, and this is the Mana Kadar Beauty Lip Whip. Never heard of this brand. A matte lip color that is whipped to perfection Easy to apply and formulated with long-lasting pigment that doesn't dry out your lips. $21. So, yeah. That is the last thing in here. Not incredibly exciting for me because in my quiz I actually had put that I didn't want a lot of skincare. And that seems to be what I'm getting. So, anyway... Let me put my hair up, let me put my eye tapes on, and we'll try out this eyeshadow and see if these shimmers are any different from the one in the other palette. And you can watch that video if you're interested. All right, brows are the benefit, precisely my brow, and my eye primer is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to start out with my Morphe M330. And let's pick up some Daybreak. And I know the mattes in the um, red palette, I was really digging. I uh, can't think of the name. Scarlet Dusk? Is that right? <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, they perform much like this. Extremely pigmented, blends like a dream. Mm. I gotta say, Ace Beauté, I uh, 
I like I like these palettes. Whoa, I like I like the other one. The shimmers were weird for me, but they wore all right all day. So even if I have to work with a product a little bit, as long as it works and stays on, I'm okay with it. Look at that yellow. That is so bright and fun. I am absolutely, absolutely loving that yellow. But anyway, um, I'm going to take my Morphe E17 and I think I'm going to pick up some... Mm, let's go with some Grand Canyon. And I'm going to try to put that right below that yellow. I think we're going to work on some kind of a sunset eye, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe like an ocean view with the blues. Maybe. I'm going to go back with that first brush and blend out the harshness. I got to tell you, I love, love their mats. I really do. Now I'm going to take the Dominique Cosmetics Crease and Blur DS04 brush and I think I'm going to I think I'm going to deepen this up out here just a little bit. Let's dip into some pyramid. That's oops. <laughs> the shade right here. And I just want to add a little more depth out here and I want to use a few more shades because I haven't decided where I'm going with the shimmer yet so that's part of it and that just slightly deepened it up I like this brush all right so I just laid down a bit of my NYX glitter primer. I'm going to take my Dominique Cosmetics DSO5 pigment brush and I think, I think, I think, I think I want to do some of this shade right here called Sun on the first half or so. Uh, see this one's, this one's doing the same hard pan situation. But they're so creamy feeling. Let's see how it applies to the eye. Oh, that's applying nicely. Okay. I can live with that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I think I'm going to take my finger and pick up some of, let's pick up some golden hour right there and let's work that. Take my finger back into some sun and just kind of go back and forth like usual hmm. let me let me get a blending brush okay I'm gonna take that E17 and just go over the top of this maybe pick up a little bit more um, let's mix some pyramid and Grand Canyon and kind of fluff this out here. I am really loving this eye look. You guys. Mm. What do you guys think so far? Okay, let me go. Um, let me get a bunch more of my face done. Because obviously I didn't get a lot of face stuff 
for mm. this month mm. and we will get back to the eye look. Alright, so I do have my little Anastasia Tarte combo going on as far as foundation goes. And yeah, let's test out this pretty vulgar concealer. Um, they did send me Undercover 60 Little White Lies. So let's see how she goes. And I'm assuming because this is a medium coverage, I'm not going to be having to worry about did I go in with too much. But as you can see, it's not going to be real brightening for me either. I'm going to put some on this little guy here. Some around my nose. I'm trying a new thing with my foundation today. I saw Jackie on to do it. She like set it with powder. And uh, set her primer with powder. So that's what I'm trying. But let's see. Definitely light coverage, I would say. I wouldn't call this medium. I mean, look, you can still see all my. Let me try using my finger. Because I can still see all the darkness under my eye. And using a finger does help. And then you can just blend out this down here. But, yeah. As you can see, there's a little more coverage when you use a finger. So let me put a dab more and blend it out with my finger. Okay, this is what my under eyes are looking like. Mm, definitely really, really light coverage. I think I'm going to leave it though because I don't have to go anywhere today so I'm not worried about We'll see what it looks like with powder and everything, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the, with the rest of my complexion products on. I don't think it looks bad. Like I said, you can see some of the darkness here, but it's not bad. On that note, I'm going to take my E30 from Sigma, the pencil brush, and I I think I'm going to go into this green cactus shade. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to start working this on this lower lash line. Mmm, it's like an army green. It's really kind of cool. I kind of like it. I'm putting this across the whole lower lash line, keeping it kind of tight to my lashes. I'm going to take my DSO3 uh, Blend and Shade brush, and I think I'm going to pick up just a tiny, tiny bit of Horizon right here. And I'm going to go a little along these edges. Just to add a hint of something extra. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Alright, let me pick out a lash and um, pick out something for my waterline and I'll be right back. Alright, so I threw on my Lily Lashes in the Style Goddess and some crust from ColourPop in my waterline and my Lancome mascara and yeah that's where we are so I'm gonna take my Morphe M213 and I 
thought about it and thought about it. And I think I'm just going to take this sunshade right here and put that in my inner corner and connect it up with that top because I'm really digging this eye look. And I love, love, love this yellow shade. If I can get it to pick up, I think I'm going to give it a little spritz with my Urban Decay Oil Control. And there we go. Okay. Yes. Bring that up into that up there. Yes. All right, and I just switched off that brush and with my Ofra highlighter in Star Island, which is what I have on the rest of my face, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. And the only thing left, I believe, is lips, beings I can't, you know, I'm not going to wash this full face of makeup off. Just use the face gamage. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's try these lips out. Okay, so I filled my lips in and lined them with Sephora Collection um, Rose Wine. This is uh, the Gel Rose Lip Liner. And yeah. Let's try this lipstick out. That is, this is what it looks like on its own. Very close to the shade of um, lip liner. So that was kind of my idea. Okay. I have had a I've had a problem overlining my lips lately. But hopefully we'll nip that in the butt soon cuz my lips are looking a little too a little too uh plump for me. <laughs> But anyway, okay, so that is the lip color, and let me pull my hair down, and we'll get into some final thoughts. All right, and this is the final look. Um, I did uh, change a diaper and smoke cigarette and drink some coffee, so this is what the lip is looking like. Not bad. Anyway, uh, that being said, the retail value of all the items in my box is $216 for this month. And I can't, of course, speak for these products because I haven't used them. But I want to do a new thing where um, at the beginning of each month with my BoxyCharm and Ipsy videos, I want to take and update you on the products from the month previous. Um, I know it'll add more time, but I feel like that's the best way to update you thoroughly because that gives me a month to play with the products and see what I think. As far as the lip product goes, I like the color. Um, it doesn't feel incredibly dry, but I did use that gel liner from Sephora, so that might, you know, play in a factor, but we'll see how it wears. The Pretty Vulgar Concealer, it doesn't seem to be accentuating my fine lines or wrinkles too, too bad, so we'll see how that wears today. Um, the Ace Beauté Palette, I just cannot get over the mattes in this the the mats are, are stunning they blow my mind um i did want to do a little swatch of the few shimmers that i didn't use ooh and that gleam while their shimmers are extremely hard pressed i mean you can see they go on pretty 
pretty, pretty good. And I mean that blue practically, let's pick up just a little bit more of that blue. They're really creamy feeling, but um, they're so hard pressed, especially this red shade, this gleam shade. Those are the shimmers I didn't use today. And I mean, I gotta say, they're they're beautiful. I love the looks that I come up with with these Ace Beauté palettes. I don't regret the two that I purchased. I don't regret the one, well, three, because technically I, I added on, even though it was only $12. But I don't regret having these in my collection. I Like I said, the mattes are stunning. They blend easily. Um, the pigmentation is there. So I cannot deny the mattes, the shimmers are also stunning even though like i said they're a little hard pressed they're beautiful when you get them on the eyes so hang on a second anyway i like them i like ace Beauté. i'm really happy that i have discovered this brand um and yeah that being said uh that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video um really interested to see how I feel about this at the end of the month that's for sure so you may see it in some other videos upcoming videos I did just order this morning the Amrezy palette and I have an elf a full face elf I want to do and uh, yeah so I hope you will consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That would mean so much to me. I would love to have you around for future videos. I really enjoy doing videos and being on YouTube. It gives me a break from the whole day with Thomas and all that good stuff. But um, he's a little jealous of it, as you can see and here I should say but anyway that being said I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are thank you so much for watching my video and we will see you on the next Teresa tries tutorials bye guys